I gradually started to hire a team, and we started to sort out a handful of priorities that we knew if we could just sort of systematically hit those priorities, we know we could really get that business moving. And so we started to articulate these, and I realized I needed to build some alignment with my product partner named Peter. Uh, Peter's primary set of responsibilities was to interact with the engineers who would build our products and infrastructure, and my primary responsibility was to deal with the business people. And Peter and I needed to be in lockstep. So I started talking to Peter about these five priorities and started to gain his buy-in. And Peter had started to assure me, yes, I'm absolutely bought in. Feeling pretty good that we're really building some alignment, and I find myself late in the year in a meeting with Peter and a couple of the engineers. Throughout the meeting, it starts to become clear to me that the engineers don't know anything about those five priorities. I seize the opportunity to get up to the whiteboard and write down the five priorities to sort of make sure that the engineers understood them, to make sure they understood my context, et cetera. Right after I wrote these priorities on the whiteboard, Peter says, where has this clarity been, Russ? I couldn't believe it. I was so angry in that moment that I could feel the jugular vein in my neck pulsing. And I pulled my punch. I didn't call Peter on it, mostly out of a sense of empathy for his audience. Those engineers are his audience. And I didn't want to embarrass Peter. I didn't want to call him on a lie in the middle of that meeting. That turned out to be a pretty big mistake. So the meeting adjourns, and it's time for us all to head out on the holidays. There's no time for us to catch up. So we're hurried, the meeting's over, Peter has to get on a plane, I've got to get out of the building. So I did what you should always do when you're upset and angry. I wrote him an email, real keyboard warrior. And this is easily the worst email I've ever written in my career. In fact, it's so embarrassing that as I was leaving Twitter, I went to find the email so I could pull quotes out of it for this exact purpose, telling this story, and I deleted it. For those of you who use Gmail, you know you never delete emails. I was so embarrassed by this email that I'd actually deleted it. I lectured him on what it's like to have targets. I lectured him on what it means to collaborate. I just unloaded on this guy in a really long, aggressive email. Eventually, word of our disagreements make their way to our bosses. And our bosses do something pretty normal. They say, hey, guys, dial it back. At the request of our bosses, Peter and I get into a room and we start to apologize. I go first. I apologize and I don't mean it. Worse, Peter knows I don't mean it. And just to keep it nice and ridiculous, I know Peter knows that I don't mean it. And so there we are insincerely apologizing and insincerely accepting these insincere apologies. What the hell is the matter with us? 